On 10th March, Norway will be holding their national uh, final for Eurovision 2018. 10X will be competing, and one of them is Tom Hugo. We have Tom here at the SC Radio Studio today. Hey, Tom. Hey, hey. Tom, before we start this, actually, we should take a snippet trip down memory lane. They do. That's Der Du, it is you. Yes. The song you performed in the 2013 Melody Grand Prix. According to the credits that we have, uh, this is, song was written just by you, yourself? Only, yes. Only you? And uh, also the song in 2013 was written only by you. Is that kind of your policy, to write it all alone, or do you sometimes co-write? Oh, no, not at all. I Actually, I most of the time I co-write with a lot of other producers and, um, and writers. Um, But once in a while, I think I like to do both in a way. And with De Adu, which was a, which was a very personal song, and it was a more of a yeah, it, it's a ballad. And um, I didn't think that would fit in the Eurovision or like the the world of Melodie Grand Prix. But uh, I submitted it anyway because a lot of people said it, they liked it, and um, and it was there. But I think I like I like I like is more of a song that will fit in the Saturday uh, evening uh, party uh, party atmosphere which is w yeah wh what I like with the, with this song that finally I can I can be a real Eurovision artist being on stage with a lot of dancers a lot of the colors and really bring out joy you've been in the business for like almost 10 years uh, writing songs and um, I wondered if maybe this song is now inspired by Facebook <laughs> or was inspired <laughs> by Facebook oh no no, no how do you get your inspirations in general for writing well that that differs a lot sometimes it's just uh, a mood I have or it's something that I feel or it could be uh, a story Uh, from my life or a story from uh, from the other person's lives. For instance, I had one uh, one song on my my album uh, uh, Sundry Tales from 2013, which was uh, it's called Julia. It's it's also a ballad, but that was inspired by uh, a good friend of mine's uh, girlfriend. That was, and I heard the story and just like okay, I had to write this song. Mainly, it's uh, it's the song when you get when you wake up if you feel like okay. Today I'm really happy, uh, and then I sit down with my guitar or piano and just get an idea of a melody or a mood in the on the chords, and then suddenly, uh, yeah, something pops up. Five years have passed since they are doing your participation in Melody Grand Prix. Some artists, they take part <laughs> every year in their national selection. For you, well, five years have passed. Yeah, what, what happened for you in these years? during the Well, um, I actually... Took a uh, took a step back from 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 the stage, not being too much uh, on stage myself, and uh, it was a coincidence. But I started writing songs for uh, for other artists uh, here in Germany for Yakoto and uh, Levina. I've written for her as well, but uh, mainly for Asian uh, pop acts, girl bands, boy bands in Korea and Japan. And so I've been traveling a lot all over the world and writing uh, number one hits. And then after a while, when you do that a while, then uh, for me it was, okay, now I've done that some years, maybe it's time to, to do something myself before I get too old. Well, how deeply are you actually involved in the world of Eurovision? Have you been a fan all your life? Well, I remember if, if since I was a kid uh, to watch uh, Eurovision was, was always uh, uh, like a big event in my family. And yeah, I remember we had, uh, we rigged ourselves in front of the TV, had uh, some ice cream and candy. And I, I was really, really, uh, yeah, I was a fan, I think. And I remember when, when Bobby Sox won, I was so small that I, I, I couldn't, um, I tried to stay up. Uh, all that like until uh, until we saw the how it how it went, but uh, but I fell asleep and I've, I remember still I remember the disappointment that uh, when uh, my mom woke me up and said like yeah we won and like why didn't you keep me awake and uh, so yeah it's been it's been a uh, I'm I'm uh, always um, watching and I've yeah I've, I've I think I've. Uh, I always have a strong opinion about, about the songs, and I think that's a, that's a good thing with Eurovision. It really creates, it makes people, uh, it makes people talk. It makes people 
make an opinion and it makes people see how how different genres is popular in different countries so yeah it's a, it's a great competition um i mentioned it at the beginning 10 acts will be competing in melody grand prix and it's uh, quite an interesting lineup this year actually because there are four or five um persons who have been to eurovision to the international event as um from joust joachim as a writer for yeah. alexander's song and then alexander Rybak, and there's uh, moland as a writer for rebecca and uh, yeah stella mongi mm. as well um does that put any special pressure on you <laughs> well, of course, it's. I think I'm. I'm definitely the one with least experience when it comes to winning anything at all. I don't think I've won anything. Uh, <laughs> so, so that's that's my thing. I uh, so um, it will definitely. I'm definitely a dark horse uh, in that, uh, and I and I like that to be honest because I have no pressure at all, um, and I can just be myself on stage and just have have a great time. And I, but I know that there will be a lot of people that will like this song a lot, or I would say like this act because it's a song that it's more of a, it's more of a performance song than than a song that uh, necessarily is the one that you will listen to like at, at daytime, late at night, or everything. It's um, it's one of those songs that will be very well together with uh, with the whole. The whole choreography. You worked with one act, uh, um, artist, uh, which is Johanna. You, or at least you sang a duet yes. with her. How did that happen? Because Johanna, she's very from Iceland. The song yeah. that uh, Icelandic entry in 2009. How did that happen? Uh, we were actually. It was kind of a coincidence as well. We were both uh, going to be in uh, this TV show, Beat for Beat, which is a Nor Norwegian, uh, act, like the biggest uh, radio channel in Norway. And whereas, like they teamed us together, and yeah, it's a it's a family entertainment program where you sing a lot of songs, or it's a it's a guessing game. You guess which song is gonna be uh, on the board, and you have to sing it. And uh, yeah, we we got along very well. We actually wrote a couple of songs together, had a couple of gigs, and um, before she moved back to, or she was a lot in Norway uh, right then. And um, yeah, met his uh, her uh, husband David, and yeah, she's 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 great. She's an amazing artist. She's her voice is so good. I know that many fans are waiting for her to come back to yeah. Eurovision to return one day. Um, well, we have to speak about the performance, of course. You have enough experience with Eurovision to know that uh, the the performance is essential in Eurovision. Mm. Um, what can you tell us about your performance this year in Melody Grand Prix? I think I saw some snippet of a video, maybe, which <laughs> yeah. looked very boy, boy group like. <laughs> yeah. So that tell us. Oh, yeah, well, that was just uh, for fun. It's, it's the first time that I'm actually... Uh, that I'm working with with dancers, and I think that's so much fun because the the energy uh, to be on stage with uh, with a group of talented dancers is so amazing. So now it's it's um, it's definitely a song that or I like I like I like is all about um, dancing with the beat you have, with the body you have. How you, like it doesn't matter. You just let it out. So uh, not to, uh, to say too much, it's going to be a very colorful show with a lot of people on stage and um, I'm really excited. And I'm, I'm actually going to try to move a bit as well. I'm, I've never danced while I'm singing on stage. So this is like Tom does <laughs> things he doesn't know how to do. <laughs> But um, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of right now I'm, I'm rehearsing what I can and uh, I think it's going to be good. <laughs> Can you tell anything about the outfits already? Uh, no, well, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be quite classy. That's the only thing I can say. Classy. But it's rare, uh, yeah. But it's uh, it's gonna be nice. Okay, Tom. So it would be cool to have a little piece of your song, uh, your melody Grand Prix uh, entry. Would you sing a bit? Okay, I can sing uh, just two lines of the chorus. It goes like that. I like I like I like it when you move your body. I like I like I like it when you dance next to me. I like I like I like it when the world can see the way you're grooving, got me moving. You dance me happy. And now, I like I like I like it. Lick like I like it. Was that good enough? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So, so more of this with more music in the, in the playlist. You can uh, listen to the song in our playlist. 
Okay, Tom, so thank you very much for this. Thank you for having me. Good luck for Melody Grand Prix. Thank you very much.